Howdy folks, welcome to Frontier Pilot Simulator, and we're going to play a little of this game. I was sent a key by the developers, and so they, they uh, wanted me to make a video of the gameplay, and so yeah, I said that sounds cool, and I'll try it out and everything. And so I did play a little bit. Um, I played for maybe 20 minutes or so just to get get a feeling for the game and everything and So yeah, I'm gonna mess around here, and we're gonna we're gonna play this game a little so the first thing is uh, I'm using an Xbox controller by the way, and so yeah We're using one joystick for this and then if you push down on the joystick It'll do that and then using the other joystick to steer and so if we go into the map here This is the island that we're on. I think there's more islands eventually but for right now there's just this island and we are right here and so basically this is kind of like a just you know you go around and trade stuff um, I could probably even move my cam out of the way of that but yeah you go around and trade stuff and um, yeah I should probably move my camera down down to here <laughs> but um, you know what let me see if I can do that right now and we'll go like this and do that. How's that? You can even do that. But yeah, anyway, we'll see we'll see if the anything else shows up on there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what you do is you fly around and you can trade stuff and that kind of deal. And whoops. Huh, interesting. You can place a waypoint. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna place that waypoint there. I wanna fly to this place because they have this one needs advanced colonial B2 rations, as you see there, and this one has advanced colonial B2 rations. So this is, or is it the other way around? This is selling, okay, so yeah, I want to buy that first before I go. So I'm going to use, I think it is the, is it the A key? Is it the, yeah, I don't remember which it is. Spacebar? No. Enter. No? <laughs> Let's see. You know what? I think I'm not on the... I'm not on the... There we go. Okay, now we can... Now we can do this. We can go A. Alright, so now what we can do is we can go... We can buy these rations. It's going to load them onto the ship. And I think this opens the door. If I remember correctly, there's one thing that opens the door. But this up here shows you your fuel level, and so you can hold down the X key or the X button to fuel up, and that should be good. So we've got our rations. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the right trigger and take off. There we go. So we're just going to fly over to this little thing, and we're going to fly over to this other thing. Now... If you look at the, on the left, the circle that's going up and down, it's basically how hard I'm hitting the throttle, the up throttle. And so you can max it out, etc. Um, the orange line in the middle is basically how hard I have to hit it to, to not accelerate up or down, basically to match gravity. So if I'm going down at one meter per second and I hold the throttle right here, then I'll actually just keep going down at one meter per second. So if I need to accelerate upwards, obviously I need more throttle, and accelerate downward, I need less throttle. Now the other thing is that when you um, when you move forward or backwards, you actually lose altitude. It's putting some of that thrust toward the uh, forward or backwards direction instead of instead of uh, vertically, and so yeah, you do lose some of your upward force. And so that's part of the piloting skill of this thing. And let's see if it'll let me... Is it going to let me... So now I need to use the WASD keys. To, there we go. So you see it lights up there. And... I think I missed it. I went past... There we go. Okay. There we go. Alright, so now what we picked up... We picked up these rations so we can sell them. And I'm going to go like that. I'm going to hold down the X to fill up our fuel while that's happening. And let's see if we can find somewhere that use that needs those batteries. So we'll go um, enter. Is it enter to get back out of there? Escape to exit. So we're going to go to the map and we're going to see who needs the G-type batteries for drones and equipments. That 
So they need MTG type batteries. They need MTG type batteries. I don't see anybody that needs those. Let's see what these guys... These guys have MTG type batteries. Okay. And these guys need them and these guys have them. Okay. So let's see what are, what they have for sale is the... Yeah. I'm wondering if these are the ones. Yeah. So we need a, a ship that can go farther or we need to be able to go to that point in order to sell them. So what we can do... They have available. They have available. And these guys want those here. Okay. So we need to basically go to any of these three and then we can come back to here and sell them. So they need MTG types. We can buy them here. And they want to buy 1,406 of them, I think, is what that number is. So I think we could probably make two trips. We could go like that. So maximum distance is 5.5. Okay. It looks like we can do that. So we're going to take off. And, oh, you know what? We need to actually buy those first, don't we? So we're going to do that. We're going to buy them. And we're going to hit escape. There we go. No? Does it have to do... I think it might have to do, actually do the animation before you, can, before you can get out of there. Now, the heavier your ship is, if you'll notice now, I have to actually give this much throttle in order to take off instead of... Remember, it was down here. So this is going to be... See, it says 36%. Oh, that's how easy it is to break. Okay. So I'm going to have to see if I can even take off here or what. Let's find out. Oh, you know what? That's not what I wanted to buy anyway. That's the wrong thing. Let me uh, let me go back here. That's totally the wrong thing, isn't it? Let's look at the map. Who's buying the G-Type? Yeah, that's... I, I totally... Yeah, I need to go to these before I buy stuff. Duh. I'm too busy talking. <laughs> so... <laughs> So we're going to sell this stuff. We're going to sell it. Alright, I hope it doesn't... There we go. I hope it doesn't uh, use up my money for that. So we need to go to this place, right? There we go. Yeah, my green waypoint here. I'm going to go like this. And my range is fairly limited, so I do want to be careful, I think, about how much about how uh, about how far I'm trying to fly and all that and how much fuel I'm using so I think that's this spot right here I know on the map it looks like it's a lot farther away but we're gonna go like this ah the landing area is down there and you know I always want to it's like this habit that I want to just um, <laughs> that I want to just completely let up and throttle when I want to go down, and I need to get out of that habit because it's a really bad idea. There we go. See, this is what happens. You you let up. If you get going down, if you get too much downward momentum, you kind of you get to the point where you can't cancel it before you smash into the ground, so you do need to be careful. And then you're, like, stuck flying in a straight line because if you try to maneuver to the side at all while you're in that position, then, you know... Um, then you lose that, you know, you lose more of that upward thrust, and so you get into this kind of trap. So you do, it, it does take some skill to pilot. All right, so we're going to do this. What is this? I urgently have to go to Nord. Can you imagine? Uh, sure, yes. Let's go like this. Right shoulder. Plus A. Okay. So I think we have to open the door. Does that open the door? What opens the door? There we go. That opens the door. It's so down on the on the thingy. So we can open the door while we're waiting for that guy to show up. We can grab these G-type batteries. But yeah, I think there's a passenger here that will show up and want to uh, load onto the ship. And we can fill our fuel while we're doing that, too. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot to manage while I'm yapping, so... <laughs> Where is the passenger... Because he's supposed to get on the ship, I think, right? Pick up a passenger. Oh, is it? It's over. Okay, so if you look up here, it says pick up a passenger. So I think we have to go to Nord. Where is Nord? 
Nord is up here. Okay, we can do that because we need to get the empty G-type batteries anyway, I think. So, let's see. Yeah, because that's only 550. Alright, and we are full on fuel again, so yeah, we can take off. So let's close up the door. Whoops. Close up the door. And here we go. There we go. Alright. And then when you get more advanced planes... Whoa. Oh, apparently he's right there. Where is he? Where is he? Apparently he's very nearby. Whoa! No, 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 no! See, I'm like... I'm like holding up the whole time. It's <laughs> still crashing. I told you, I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, where's the passenger? Pick up a passenger. Okay, apparently we just need to go over here. So... <laughs> See, you guys get to learn with me. There we go. Okay, so it's this landing zone right here. I get it now. There we go. Okay. So it should be... 15, 14, 13. So that should be able to... Let's see if it'll come out. Yeah, see? I think the passenger's walking up to the ship, isn't he? Is he right there? There we go. Why isn't that... Why isn't he getting on? What am I doing here? I mean, what am I supposed to be doing, right? Because he's... Pick up a passenger. There's got to be a key I have to hit to do that or something. No? B, X, D-pad down. I'm not sure how I pick him up. I'm going to have to look that up because he doesn't seem to want to get on the ship. Let's see if we can back up a little bit more. Maybe we need to be in the... Exactly. Okay, the captain... No, there we go. You can close the hatch and go. All right. Apparently, I needed to be within this little green area in order to do that. Okay. So we are good, and I need fuel, though. I'm going to end up... Right? I'm going to end up with without enough fuel or something, so I think I'm going to do this just out of paranoia. I'm going to stop here and grab some fuel. I'm going to do this. <laughs> and I think you have to be facing the right way. I'm not sure, but I think you have to be facing the right way in order to, for this to enable. Yeah, you do. Okay. So I'm using the WASD keys here to do this, to do the backing up and stuff, and it is a little bit slow. I'd like it to be faster, be a little bit more uh, responsive. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to do this, this, and then fill up my fuel. Okay. All right, we are good now. We're going to take this passenger over here. <laughs> now we can finally do it, right? 3.6 kilometers. I assume it's meters. But here we go. 3.6k something. I just don't want to... I don't want to come down... Whoa. So, this this thing does have... Like, you have volcanoes and stuff like that. And rain and wind and, you know, you basically have a bunch of cool uh, weather effects and everything. So, you do need to watch what you're doing when you fly. You need to fly around hazards and everything. Which is pretty cool. We're going to... Come on. You can accelerate upward again. So, I'm crashing into this hill. There we go. Like this. We're getting close. This trigger is like so sensitive. Drop the passenger. I think it's this green. Is it this green spot right here? Or is it. Oh, it's this one right up here. Okay. Yeah, it's the green one, not the orange one. I was looking at the orange thing. Call in a stable hearing. There we go. 
Yay. I'm getting pretty decent with the flying. Yeah. There we go. So now when we open the door, will you take me to the base spaceport? Right shoulder. Okay. Certainly. So does that mean we just got another passenger? I think we did. We just got another passenger. So where? what's he doing? Is he going to... There we go. Okay, he's getting on now. Awesome. So we need to take him to where? Spaceport? Where is the spaceport? Let's see where that is. That's where we came from before. Okay. Now, I don't know if I have a... I'll have to check and see. Do I have a time limit or... Do I have a time limit on this guy? Yeah, one hour... 22... Okay. I think we can, uh, I think we can stop at this place and refuel and all that stuff. Let's see, here's the landing zone and training. See the geyser over there? How cool is that? Those geysers and everything, they have volcanoes and geysers and stuff. So there's some really cool stuff on this planet. The, the ambiance is really fun. So, it's not, it's not a super high stressful game, I don't think. Um, it's, which I actually, I really like. It's just a relaxed, you know, just kind of kick back and fly around and enjoy the scenery and all that stuff. I wish there was a way to turn this, to rotate this thing. You can't, you can't rotate the ship without moving forward or backward. It's like an RC car. Reminds me of an RC car. Um, yeah, there's no way to, to like rotate forward and backward and that kind of, or rotate left or right, that kind of thing. And here we go. I'm not sure actually if that timer down there, I'm not sure if that timer is even related to the to the passengers there. But we're gonna do this docking. And we're gonna refill on fuel. And we're also gonna buy this. There, we're gonna buy those. Is that A? Space. Oh, we don't have enough space? Okay. Well, I guess we can't do... Whoops. We do need to do this, though. We do need to fill up our our thing. Apparently, you can only do one box at a time, huh? Okay. So we need to go where? We need to go back to... Let's take these off. We need to go back to here. There we go. Just so I know I'm going the right way. There we go. And we need to avoid these geysers, too, obviously. Probably not a good idea to fly through those. I assume it damages your ship or something. I did fly through a volcano uh, ash cloud, and it damaged my ship. So <laughs> I can tell you with certainty that that's a bad idea. And I assume the geysers are the same way. There we go. Let's do this, and we'll fly level. And then do this. So if you hold the throttle in one place and then when you move the thing, it moves the throttle for you. Oh cool, there's another ship right there too. Check that out. Okay, it's saying the spaceport is... Oh, it's 2.7. I, I thought it was saying it was 12.3k. I'm like, I don't have that kind of range on this ship. <laughs> but yeah, as you move the throttle forward, it actually um, increases your throttle by itself in order to keep you level, I think, or relative to how much. So if I do that, it still lets me sink a little bit. So I'm letting it lose altitude here a little bit at a time. There we go. So what I want to do is I want to try to avoid, my goal here is to try to avoid um, having to maneuver on the ground. So I'm going to do this sort of thing. We're going to do this deal. We're going to do this sort of deal. There. There we go. Now we can see how much we're coming down. There we go. It's getting better getting better at this. That was one of the hardest things on any um, 
flight simulator, I always had the biggest problem with uh, basically getting lined up with the runway. I'd always end up overshooting the runway too. But trying to get, you know, parallel to the runway. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and not overshoot it. It was always the tough part. There we go. Like that. Perfect. Okay. I totally missed what that person down there was saying. But let's see what we have. We're going to offload our passenger. No? What is this thing up here? Did he just did he just jump off? Did our passenger jump off? I think he did. Okay. So we need... We can't buy that either. So we need to go back to our map. And we have empty G-type batteries. And who buy, who's buying those? This one. Okay, so we're going to set our target for here. Whoops. Set our target for here. Then playing No Man's Sky... I'm trying to hit the right mouse to get out of the menu. There we go. It's just this one right over here. Nice little straight shot. So yeah, this is pretty much the gist of this game is you just like I said, you just fly around and there's other there's other stuff too, like there's some if you fly around the um, wilderness, you can find stuff that um, like samples, I think they call them, biological samples or whatever. But yeah, you can land on the ground and, and pick up a biological sample and bring that back to a landing zone in order to make money. So there's that too. Come on. There we go. There we go. A little bit more. I feel like I'm flying a helicopter, which is kind of cool. There we go. And now we can sell those. Right? Is that space? There we go. We can sell that. So we got some more money. Nice. And then we'll see what else we can buy. And I think we'll do one more trip here. So let's... Current ship weight. So you see down here, current ship weight is... 4877. Whoops. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna get out of this. We're gonna go to the map and we're gonna see what else is. See, they still want empty G type batteries. They have rations. They wanna buy rations. I think we tried that and the rations are too heavy for this ship. So, what we need to do is we need to save up. If you look at the red marks down there, 36900 is the next ship. The one we have right now is the 5030 ship. So, uh, let's see what else we have here. Available items, water in 50 liter bottles. And I think maybe we'll try taking these. Were the batteries the ones that were too heavy? Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, those were too heavy. The batteries were too heavy. So what was the other thing that they had? The B2 rations. We're going to go get the B2 rations, and we're going to take them to there and pick up the batteries. I think that's what we'll do. And what, what did this one have? It wants C rations. Encapsulated sample. Okay. So yeah, we're going to head to this one, pick up the rations, and then go to there sell the rations buy the water no that's sell the rations and then go here and buy some water and do that okay let's try that so we're gonna go back to this other one we need to first do this there we go I think the pass the nice thing with the passengers is you can I think you're just making extra money with that doing that. So we'll go like this. We're going to go over this way a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's really hard to to I think when I turn left and right, it doesn't adjust the throttle and it just lets me drop. <laughs> so that's where I need to be careful. That's where I'm losing my uh, altitude and stuff. There we go. 
There we go. Like that. That's much better. Did it let us? Did I get there? I didn't get there. Just off by just a little bit. Come on. There we go. So now we can get our fuel back. We're going to buy these rations over here. And load them onto the ship. And I'm going to grab a drink while it's loading. I can even do that again. Okay. So... We are good. Alright. We're going to take off. And we're going to go to this next... Where is the... Does the map show up? There it is. Come on. Wow, these things are heavy, aren't they? I think the port... It was the port where I wanted to go? No, there was some other... There was some other place. I think it was center. Central? Was it central that I was going to? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah, it was northeast of here, so we'll try that. That's the one that's two and a half kilometers away. I'm just, I can tell I'm really loaded down because this thing is really wanting to, um, this thing is really wanting to, uh, sink. It's not wanting to, uh, stay very high up. Anyway. Start accelerating downward here. I just need to be more careful with the thrust on this. There we go this. Come down. Like that. Just need to start accelerating upward because this thing is a lot more, uh, there we go. This thing is a lot more sensitive. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just missing a lot of thrust compared to, I'm really weighed down as I think the thing, the 1250 on there. 1250 mass on the bottom. If you look on the bottom left, I think that's what's making this tricky to fly. There we go. There. Okay, is it going to let me? Is it going to let me do cargo stuff? Come on, do cargo stuff. Do cargo stuff. Where is it? There it is. All right. So now we can do... Why isn't it bring? There it goes. Okay. So we're going to... Can we sell these? We can't sell them, can we? Let's check out our map. Go back here. Let's check out our map. We have rations on our ship. They want the rations. Right? Yeah. Okay. We can sell them. Good. And then this place wants water in 50, whoops, in 50 liter bottles. So we're going to do this. We're going to sell those. And we're not going to buy those batteries because we can't get rid of them at that place. And, and our map is set, so we should be good. We're going to go to the port that says it's three kilometers away so is that just a tower right there or is that another landing spot I think that's just a tower it's just a navigation tower of some sort and I can't tell if this is this is just fog okay all right there it is it's right there Let it start dropping a little bit, but not too much. There we go. 700, 600. I need to start watching my altitude and everything. There we go. So the the landing, the selling and buying place, is that right there? Yeah, it's right there, the trading zone. Okay. That's what they called it. I'm like, there's a, there's a word for it. The word place, you know. <laughs> And I can't tell if when you go backwards, if it drops, sometimes it seems like it drops you and sometimes it seems like it helps you lift. 
and I can't tell. It looks like there's even a passenger there. And it said something on the map about passengers, too. Didn't I say I was almost done? <laughs> here we go. Turn here. A little bit. There we go. Yeah, I am not into, uh, you know, I'm not at the Ace Ventura parking level yet. Uh, yes. So that is right shoulder A. Okay. And we're going to do this. Whoops. There. We're going to buy the water. And we're going to do this. And so, yeah, I'm going to go pick that guy up. And actually, I think that's going to be it for episode one. And I'm probably going to play this for a while. So for those of you who want to sit back and, and enjoy this. And, um, yeah, I will put a link to in the description to the game. It's on Steam. And it is in early access, I believe. And alpha. They, they have an alpha version up in the window. So, yeah, I'll show you that. It's up there. Yeah. So it is currently an alpha. And uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this, and we'll do another one, and we'll see you in episode two. Later.